Guys, look at me. I'm, am I looking professional? Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. This is take two of the intro because the first time <laughs> I did not press record. How stupid. So I'm here in Berlin. I'm uh, with Moritz. Hey. And here I am with... Vero, hi. You might uh, recognize her from a video that I filmed uh, almost two years ago when I uh, had uh, like a Q2 monochrome from my friend, uh, borrowed it for a day here in Berlin. And after that I decided to buy the camera. So maybe you remember her. Okay, today we'll do something similar, but still very different because we are going to shoot film yeah and moritz show us your camera because it's very special yeah i have the leica 3 from 1937 with the folklander 50 nocturne and 800 t is loaded but show us your your small lens yeah the new folklander it's very millimeter. talking about small and pointing down there <laughs> <laughs> ah, sorry Size matters. Yes. <laughs> In this case, it's tiny. Uh, it's a brand new lens, right? It just yeah, 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 yeah. So it just came out, and um, yeah, looking forward to see some results of, with this one as well. Uh, I'm going to shoot um, today. I'm going to shoot the Olympus OM2N uh, with an orange filter because I will start with some black and white because the sky looks super dramatic, and of course the big boy, the GF670. And film, uh, I have a bunch of films here. Um, not sure what, to, I think I would start with the Roly uh, Retro of ADS maybe in the, uh, in the Fuji. And in here I will shoot, uh, let's get it out. So this is a very special film. And it's this one here, it's uh, Fuji Neopan 400 CN. So it's basically like uh, XP2. Ilford, uh, so it's, it will be developed in C41 chemistry. I'm going to shoot this. This expired in 2015 or so, but I have, I have a couple of uh, rolls of this, so let's see if this actually works. And I have another film, a very special one, that you have probably never heard of. I haven't. <laughs> and I'm going to shoot this a little bit later. And yeah, th this will be pretty awesome. So I would say, let's do this. While I'm loading up the camera, I um, just wanted to remind you, in case you haven't seen my last video, I've just released a brand new zine and I will put the link in the video description. So I would shoot at aperture priority uh, and I would shoot it at 50, so the red dress, maybe one stop roughly over. All right, let's do this. Okay, let's uh, get the first shots in. The sun is still not out, but I think this building in the background with the reflections look really it looks really cool so let's give it a try uh, i'm shooting the fuji the neopan 400 cn and i'm going to set the meter to maybe let's shoot one stop over at 200 auto exposure on on the olympus yeah that looks cool okay one two three I'm shooting at 502.8. It's a bit overexposed because ISO is 800 and I can't be faster than 500. Yeah, so yeah. it will be a bit Should be good, should be good. Yeah. Should be good. Okay. It's enough latitude. Okay, exactly. let's try. Okay. You guys look so professional. So I think the difficulty on this camera is because there's a one window for uh, focusing and one for framing, right? Yeah, exactly. Like this is for focusing and this is for 50 millimeters, but because of the viewfinder is a little bit blocked, I use an external viewfinder. Okay. And But it's really nice because like the, the magnification yeah. is higher than even in the M3, so you can focus more precise even than okay. on the M3. Yeah. Nice. Exactly. <laughs> yes, yes. Today you're in Catwoman style here. One, two, three. Oh, the focusing um, is a little bit more difficult with the, with the orange filter here. Okay, let's uh, also do one with the bad boy. On this one, only 10 photos with the roll oh, film, wow. yes. Okay. So. If you blink, oh this is basically two euros wasted, okay? Okay, 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 I try very hard. So I want the money back. No, I was just kidding. 
You nailed no, it. I surely blinked. <laughs> no, you didn't. You didn't. No, no. Okay. I could see it. No, you, you were not blinking. Okay. Developing and scanning was kindly provided by Carmen Sita Film Lab. If you want to check them out, the link will be in the description box down below. So when the sun came out, Moritz had the idea to shoot right into the light that got reflected from uh, the river. So he can basically show off all these crazy halos that Cinestil 800T is famous for. Nice! Another Guys, one, another one. look at it, look at that. Look at that, hopefully it looks awesome. in this direction. Yeah. Oh, the sun is going. Okay. Yeah, just a little one. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, uh, you okay. nailed it. You nailed it, yeah, I think. Yeah, the first one should be fine. Let's see if the second one. What set is where you shooting? What, what? what aperture? Uh, 2.8. Ah, okay, okay. Exactly, exactly. Okay, so, okay. Can't open it wider. Yeah, yeah, because the camera only goes to 500. Exactly. Okay. Oh my god. Okay. Awesome, uh, maybe let's change locations and uh, yeah, shoot some more. Oh my God, Bero, this looks sick. Wait, wait, the sun is out. And oh my God, focusing is, can, can be a little sketchy. Let's see, one, two or three. Okay, there was a boat. Whoa, wait, wait, wait. Let's Whoa. get one more. Okay, with, with the bad boy. Yeah, without the boat and without the sun. Uh, no. Okay, now. Nah. Oh, come on. There's the sun. Let's, uh, let's hurry up. Let's hurry up. <laughs> We're chasing the sun. Come on. <laughs> okay, we came to the next location. <laughs> it looks risky. Are you safe? Yeah, sure. So I told her to go up there. She has to because. I wasted a frame, so yeah. she has to take the risk. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, I like this, I like this. Can you lower this knee a little bit? Because it's in the frame. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> One, two, three. You're doing pretty well with your, not blinking, oh my God. <laughs> Oh, this looks really good. Let's get another one with the GF670 here. I think this looks really sick. It looked very orange for sure. Oh yes, yes, I like it. Don't look, don't, don't look down on me. One, two, three. Okay, cool. So I convinced um, Moritz to take also a shot here. But I will switch to the 40. Oh yes, show us the 40. The That's here. Wait. And it's, it's really cool that this is actually a brand new lens, right? Exactly, exactly. Yeah, I waited so long because it's so hard to get uh, lenses for M39. The only problem that I have is that I don't find a good viewfinder for 40 millimeters. So I need to guess a little bit. Yeah. But should be fine. It's always not so easy with the screw mount. But now I got it. 
I think these are the only Leicas that are kind of affordable, I guess, huh? Yeah, but I think nowadays it's also like 500 euros and okay. I bought this viewfinder on eBay and it's only 20 euros, but it's so shit. Because it's plastic. Like, yeah, and if you go too close, it's more like 35 and if you're a bit more away, it's like 40 millimeters, but it already fell apart. And yeah. But it's perfect. It's uh, so different focal length and one. one. Yeah, so it's so really good actually. you knew what you shoot. <laughs> perfect. It's, it's not a bug, it's a feature. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, go a little bit up, yeah, like this. Check the frame. Nice, nice, nice. Look up, yeah. No, a little bit down again, perfect. And three, two, one. Nice. So let's quickly change locations because the sun's coming out, uh, but it might be gone when we change locations actually, so let's try. Hey guys, look at the, the shadow here. Come back, come back. Come back, quickly, quickly. Come, yeah, come here, come here. I think that's pretty cool, so let me, let me take one. Yes. Oh, focusing is super hard here with, against the sun with the, with the filter. Okay, one, two, three. Okay, let's try one with the Fuji. Oh my God, look at the light in, her, in your face. It looks absolutely sick. Okay. I'm shooting at aperture priority, yes. Look, look up, a little further up, yeah. Okay, are you ready? I'm not. Okay, one, two, one, two, three. Okay. Ooh, you want to shoot one? I think the lighting looks dope. I will shoot at the stairs with the reflections. Yes. I want some halos. <laughs> I will switch to the 50 millimeters again. Oh my god, look at the. Yeah, that's sick. Ah, you want to shoot against this bright? Yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah, it's like look really cool. <laughs> okay, so the last frame, make it count. I will be in the shot as well. <laughs> Are you ready? A one, two, three. Done. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> look what we got here. Some retro ADS. <laughs> I was just licking the uh, the leader, but it's a sticker actually. <laughs> I'm so used to Kodak because uh, when you shoot Kodak, it's uh, you have to lick it. So now I told you that I have a special film, and it's this one here. It's um, Fuji Chrome 400D. It's a slide film. Uh, it's pretty old. I bought a five pack and apparently it, it was in the freezer the whole time. That's what they told me. Uh, and it expired in 1995. So it's a long, long time. Uh, so I don't, I haven't shot. This is the first roll I would shoot. So the test roll basically. It can be really good or it can be really bad and we have no results at all. The flat lighting now, I think it helps because it's slide film. And I don't know how to rate it. I will shoot maybe some at box speed, maybe half a stop over. And let's try if it works or not. So now it, it was just raining. I mean, not really raining, drizzling a little bit. So we uh, were hiding underneath here, but now we will go somewhere else. But it looks like the sun will not come out, um, but it's okay. Not anytime soon at least. No, uh, I mean, it <laughs> will come out at one point, maybe in a couple of days. So. <laughs> But we will not find out. But let's go somewhere to shoot uh, the Fuji Chrome 400D. Uh, okay, let's go. Yeah. Mm. Okay, let's go. We found a nice red light here and we will shoot some portraits because it's raining and now we're looking for good lighting situations with artificial lights. So 
I will make a portrait of her and she got the nice rim light on the side, the red, so yeah, I will shoot one or two portraits here. And the shutter speed is like 1.8, so I hope it will be sharp. Yeah, wide open, right? 1.5. Yeah, aperture 1.5 and shutter like is eighths of a second, so it will be hard to hold it still, but I will try. You can do it. Yeah. Because you really want. Exactly. <laughs> Oh, but I would oh, yeah, put the camera me. away. Can you take it? You don't like it? You don't like my Olympus? No, no, no. <laughs> put here, not on the camera. Nice. Okay. Three, two, one. Nice. And now one with twenties of a second. Focus. Okay. And look this time in the camera. Three, two, one. Nice. Yeah. Okay, three, two, one. Nice. I'm almost done here, so I will probably slap in some Portra 800. But I want to try the Fuji Chrome. I think with the artificial light, it might look really sick. Let's wait for this one. The camera is telling me one eighth, but I will go with one quarter. And I will take another one with one eighth after. Okay, am I blocking the light? No. The Fuji Chrome has actually a really nice look. Uh, it's not fresh film, of course, but for some reason, there's something about it I really like. But next time, I think I will probably shoot it at one to one and a half stops over, just to see if that makes a difference. Oh yes, with the, <laughs> the filter still on, but it's okay. Okay, one, two, three. Oh, that was very slow, but it's okay. Let's take one without the filter. Yeah, I can see much better. Okay, one, two, three. Here you can see both side by side, on the left without the filter and on the right with the orange filter. Okay, that's it. For the nice, lovely Portra 800. And, very important, let's take off the orange filter. <laughs> that would have been really stupid. Now it's portrait 100 times, so set to 400, um, auto exposure, let's go. Okay, are you ready? One, two, three. Maybe, can you come closer? Yeah, yeah, go there, go there. Okay, one, two, three. Okay, let's do one on the other side, what we did before. Yeah. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not easy to see the focus, but I think this is okay, okay. One, two, three. Okay, okay let's move on to the next, oh my, look at the red light, oh my God, it's so Ooh. red. Let's move on to the, so as you can see, the sun came out again. Oh my God, look at that. Looks epic. Okay, let's try the foreign at the, here with a little bit sunlight le left. Okay, Vero, should look at me. Oh, it's tricky, eh? No, no, yes, chin down. Oh, and that's now the, all the people in the background. Chin up a little. Okay, one, two, or three. <laughs> Let's yeah. do one of you. Yeah. Why not? That's after this one. One, two, or three. Okay, maybe let's take one with Portra. Since we're already here. The light looks sick. 
Okay, one, two, three. Okay, cool. All right. Now he has to uh, load a new roll, which isn't the easiest task on the Leica 3. I'm like, I pre-cut it because this cut needs to be a bit longer than normally. Otherwise, the film maybe gets stuck in the camera. And then you have the second spool, you put it out. Just imagine you're in this cool scene, you want to take a photo so bad, <laughs> and then you have to change the film and oh, it's, it hurts. Yeah, but I have also the Leica M2 and yeah, this also got a spool. It's not, yeah, yeah, I, know. I think maybe Leica M4 is the first one with the yes, fast yes, yes, loading yeah, yeah. mechanism. So it's already finished. Already is good. I've already taken 20 shots. <laughs> and ready to go. All right, let's move on to the next spot. Yes. Finally, the sun is out. Look at me. Yes, look up. So I'm shooting at 400, maybe give it one stop more because it's backlit. One, two, three. So now we came to this location and the idea is to shoot the last frame with the GF670 and the Fuji Chrome 400D. Let's wait for the people to, to get the hell out of the way. So maybe next time we will get some bouncers, we put them there and threaten people. No, just kidding. <laughs> but she said uh, when they film a movie, they do this, you know? Yeah. They don't threaten people, of course, but yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, keep your arms like this. I think that's pretty cool. So the camera's giving me 1 30th, uh, let's, 1 30th, sounds just fine. Okay, one, two, three. Boom, okay, that's it. That's it, wait, 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 wait. Portra 800, oh, like this, like this, but down. Yes, get down, get down, one more. People like coming that. again? Yeah, okay. Hurry up. People coming? Okay, one, two, three. Okay, bam. Let's move to the next spot. Come on, give us some dance performance here. That turn, maybe turn around. Yeah. All right, now the question is, does the film come with a sticker or you have to lick? Oh. So leave a comment below, you have 10 seconds. <laughs> okay. I would think it's a sticker because it's Fujifilm, so Fuji UG has a sticker, but, but it's so old, so I have no idea basically. We, we, we are about to find out very soon. Oh, it looks like, I think it's a sticker. Oh, it's not a sticker. Oh, no. Yep. Hopefully it still works. Well, it's almost 30 years old. Crazy. That's the Fuji. Uh, you have seen the photos? I have no idea. I hope they turn out, but yeah, we'll find out. So can you film and operate the blitz at uh, the flash at the same time? The I the will blitz. try. The blitz. Hey, it's a band. It's a punk band. Some, maybe somebody knows it. <laughs> Very old school. How should I hold the flash? Uh, up. Yeah, yeah. Okay, get ready. One, two, three. Oh, it didn't fire, right? No. It's Why? On? Yeah, it's on. Wait. Okay, one, two, three. Yeah, oh. it fired. I think because I was still on auto exposure, that was the problem, I think, maybe. So I would shoot at uh, open, but okay, the flash was on one half power, that's way too much. Maybe let's go to one sixteenth. Yeah, okay, are you ready? One, two, three. We 
We were also experimenting a little bit with slower shutter speeds and flash, but unfortunately I haven't seen the results from Moritz because his role has not been finished yet. Did it flash? Yes. yes. Okay, I couldn't see it because of the, the mirror slapping down. One eighth or something. One, two. Here I wanted to bring out the gorgeous lighting in the background. In order to do so, I had to underexpose by two stops and also use a flash to fill in for the foreground. Right guys, as you just saw, the sun is fading. Uh, we took advantage of the last light and we did some experimental stuff. I mean, he did. <laughs> Let's try, yeah. Why not? Never used to flash before. Okay, so maybe it's the best photo ever, so who knows. You have seen them, we, we have to wait. All right, uh, we will now get something to eat because we are really hungry and we took like photos for hours now, but it was good fun. So as always guys, if you enjoyed this video, you know what to do. Smash the like button, subscribe to my channel and we will see you, yes exactly, we will see each other in the next one. Until then, auf, auf Wiedersehen. Wiedersehen. Bye. Bye.